going on? I hope you guys like my little introduction. I kind of try to change it up a little bit. My birthday was last Saturday, so I got a surfboard. I tried to take it out today, definitely ate a whole bunch of shiz. I have a lot of water up my nose right now, so I'm kind of sniffing. Plus, I have really bad allergies from the past weekend as well because I'm like deathly allergic to cats. I apologize if I sound a little off today. I also wanted to say thank you for those who are being patient. Thank you for understanding about what happened last week. I just really felt kind of out of rhythm and stuff like that after the show. So now I'm back here again and I am continuing the Q&A part two. I added a, another Q&A little question sticker on my Instagram for any last minute questions. I have a total of like 55 questions. If you guys didn't see the first Q&A that I did with Ghost Rap, I will leave that in the description down below. We stopped at question 23. Now we're going to 53, so 30 questions. So question 23 was, where did I grow up as a kid and I grew up I've been in the same house for 21 years and I've been in Southern California all my life I've never moved so question 24 and the person asked two different types of questions so the first one was what sparked an interest in cars for you and that one I'm gonna make another video for that one that's a little bit more in depth but to get kind of straight to the point I always thought cars were cool ever since I was born I just never really said anything about it my dad would take me out to a car show it's called the cruising grands it's basically an event that they have and they bring out all these old classic cars and I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world and they just sounded super nice I actually started when I met somebody in sixth grade and that's where I started to branch off into like Subarus the second part of that question was why did you find an interest in Subarus and to be straightforward with that, because I am gonna make a separate video for it, is because I honestly fell in love with the way that the body looked. It looked super aggressive. I love the hood scoop because it looked, just looked super sporty. And I love the wing. And most importantly, I just fell in love with the rumble because I thought it was the nicest sounding car I've ever heard. Number 25 says, why did you pick a Subaru and not another car? So the reason why I picked a Subaru was because it has always been my dream car ever since I was a little kid, basically when I was in middle school. And I told myself I was gonna buy that car when I turned 18. And I remember posting it on my personal Instagram a long time ago. The reason why I didn't go with another car was because I was very stuck on finding a Subaru. I knew there was one out there that was waiting for me. And I had the opportunity to buy one when I was 18. So I was like, I am going to get it and no one's stopping me. So number 26, let me know when your mom makes Sinigang. If you guys don't know, I'm half Filipino and half Italian. So yeah, my mom makes traditional Filipino food all the time, but lately she hasn't been making any. Number 27, I really, really like your car. Thank you. That means a lot to me because I work so hard. Number 28, do you like rally? Is that even a question? I don't even know if I should answer that. You can answer that one yourself. <laughs> Number 29 is how old are you? I just turned 21. My birthday is October 19, 1998. Number 30 was why do you have Solberg's name on your car? And the reason why I have it on my car was because he was actually the person that invented the livery for that specific year of the car. So I'm not just going to take the livery, put it on there, put my last name on there, give myself credit. Number two, I'm trying to replicate one of his WRC liveries. And number three, he's just simply an inspiration. Number 31, what do you think about a 2006 WRX STI with 104k miles? Honestly, I bought my car when it was at 137,000 miles. So if it's 104, then you're freaking lucky. So I would just say buy it or go for it. It depends on how much they're offering on the car. However, it is a lot of miles and if you don't know how it was driven by the previous owner, then I would definitely kind of ask and do a little bit of research on that because if he if he or she definitely drove that thing to the ground, then you're probably going to be expecting a head gasket to blow. But if you're lucky and someone took care of it, then you should be fine. But honestly, I would still buy it anyways and then end up rebuilding the whole nine yards of that thing. Thinking about buying a new STI, are Subarus reliable? So. I think that STIs are better than WRXs because their transmission holds up a lot better. WRX, there's just something weird going on there where it can't hold as much as an STI. Like you can launch an STI all freaking day, all day, every day, and nothing would really happen unless you decide to not really check your oil and all of a sudden it blows up. If you can buy an STI, go buy an STI because a WRX, their transmission doesn't really hold up that well. Luckily, I'm doing quite well with mine. It can be reliable, it just depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for long distance, I'm not quite sure when it starts to have problems. If you're using it for short distance, like for work and grocery, whatever it is, then definitely 110% reliable up to probably, I would probably say up to like 200,000 miles to be honest, if you're just using it for short distance. If you're racing it, I have no idea, so. 
it all depends on what you're using it for but I highly 10 out of 10 would recommend if you have an option of buying a new SDI oh and also it depends on how you treat it if I said that already it all depends on how you treat the car if you just race it and you just womp on it all the time and you're not checking your fluids you my friend will probably be very screwed it's not gonna be that reliable and something's gonna happen number 33 was what inspired this journey that you're on and I used to watch a lot of Gears and Gasoline and they were very much involved with Time Attack. So originally I wanted to race for Time Attack and then I ran into Rally on my Explore feed and I found Peter Solberg, son Oliver Solberg. And I was like, dude, like that's badass. And I was like doing a little bit of research and not a lot of females do Rally. And I'm like, well, there's more females on the track nowadays and there's not that many females that do Rally. So I was like, I wanna be one of the few that does rally. So here I am now and I am trying to go to school for rally and I'm trying to go to Dirtfish, which is in Seattle. And it's very expensive, but that's the only place where I'm gonna get exposure because here in California where I live, there is absolutely nothing. And I have people that tell me like, well, like you don't even need to go to the special school for it. You can just go to, like you can just go to the track or whatever. Well, the track is very different than a stage. And they're very both, very different things. So a lot of people don't really think I will ever do rally. I made this YouTube channel and my Instagram to build myself a timeline and see where I'll go and maybe, who knows, maybe I'll go back to the track. I might just end up changing it, but right now I'm really trying to focus on rally. So number 34 says 2006 or 2004 WX. And honestly, I really wanted the 2004, 2005 WX, but my bank only allowed me to get a 2006 and above, so I ended up with a 2006, so that's a tough choice. I don't know, 2006 or 2004, can I choose both? I don't know. So number 35 says, how did I get into cars? And that's a long story, like I said before, so I'm gonna make another video about that one. How I really got into cars was not only that cruising ground type of thing, but when I branched off, I had a friend whose Facebook, what, what is it called? A cover photo on Facebook? He had a picture, I remember it was a 2007 WRC STI with the Solberg liver on it and I just thought it was the most badass car ever and I was like, I gotta get myself one of those and I remember telling him that and so I was like, what car is that? And he was like, oh, it's a Subaru STI and I I was still learning about cars and I was like, oh, okay, like, what's that? Like, you know, like, can you tell me more about it? So. I remember I downloaded the picture, I had it on my phone as a background for a super long time. I met somebody in sixth grade and I remember him asking me, he's like, are you into cars? And I was like, I was like, yeah, like I think I'm into cars. I think they're really cool though. And so he was like, oh really? Like what kind of cars do you like? And so I sent him a picture of the Subaru and he was like, he's like, oh my gosh, like you're into those cars? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I think it's a Subaru. I, don't remember what it's called but I think that's what it is I just know it has stars on it it's funny because that's how I just started off with cars I only knew what the emblem was like I knew Subaru had stars I know the Mitsubishi had diamonds that's all I knew it was like oh yeah it's the one with the stars and stuff after I told him that he basically taught me more about it and it just grew as an obsession and I saw it every time when I was with my parents or my sister and they were driving me around and I saw a Subaru on the street I'd be like Subi or Subaru but the way I would say it would just like freak him out like it made him feel like there was a car Car coming or the car was about to hit him because I'd always be like <gasps> but I would get super excited about them I always take random pictures with them and like if I found if I found a random super bit oh take a picture of me and I didn't care where it was I just grew up as an import lover so that's where it pretty much mainly started number 36 I adore you and love what you do thank you I work very very hard for my stuff and for YouTube and school and it's just been hectic number 37 what does the process of becoming a rally driver look like Okay, honestly, I haven't done a lot of research on it because I've been super freaking busy and some of you guys, or hopefully all of you guys know that because my life isn't easy right now. I am struggling in school, so when I get to the school, I definitely want to interact with a lot of instructors and definitely ask them and take notes about how I can get further into the rally world and what it takes. So I'm sorry that I don't have all of the knowledge for you right now, but I promise that sometime down the line I will have it. What I'm focused on is that I want to just go to Dirtfish Rally School, talk to the instructors, get as much knowledge as I can, see where I can start, see what the process looks like and talk to them about it and then I will be able to hopefully share the information with you guys and see if I can do it and take the challenge but if it's a lot of money involved then 
we'll see where I go. Number 38 says, who is your person you look up to in rally? Definitely my biggest inspiration are the Solbergs, so Peter Solberg and Oliver Solberg. Number 39, are you mixed? My dad is full Italian and my mom is full Filipino, so we match those two together and we get Italopino. So yeah, I know I don't look that much Asian, I look more Italian. Number 40 says, where are you from? I am from sunny San Diego, California. Number 41, what's your top three favorite things about your car? Okay, number one, obviously it's the rumble. Number two is the livery. And number three is that it is voted as the top 10 safest cars. And I can also take it up to the snow. So that season's coming up pretty soon. It's unfortunately still stupid hot here in San Diego. It's 93 degrees outside today and it's October 23rd. It should be cold by now. I can't wait to take it up to the snow for the first time. The only thing I'm afraid of is other cars not parking right and hitting my car. So I know I will for sure do a photo shoot up there. So I'm pretty super stoked to take it up to the snow for the first time this year. At number 42, where did you buy the stickers and black pieces of Subaru? I'm kind of confused on that one. So the livery was designed by Workhorse and it was installed by Ghostrap. That's where I got it from, but if you're interested in buying it, you're gonna have to contact Ghostrap about the prices. Unfortunately, I don't know how much it is because it's a sponsored car. So I only paid for material, which was a pretty good price for me. So if you're wondering how much it is, um, I'll put his name right here on the screen real quick for you. So it's Ghostrap and you can go ahead and hit him up about the prices. Oh yeah, and the black piece of Subaru, I don't know what, black pieces you're talking about so can you somehow like dm me or let me know what what you were thinking of number 43 you and the car are beautiful thank you super sweet number 44 are you literally the cutest thing ever i forgot who said this i know it was a girl thanks thank you number 45 says dream destination and bucket list of car events you want to see my dream destination is definitely to go to Japan because the car scene there is freaking huge. So I definitely want to go there, no doubts, no question about it, Japan. 46 says wide body kit and you already know I'm trying to get the WRC wide body kit but I don't know who sells it, where I can get it, and definitely when I put it on there, the cage is going to be going on with it too. So I'm super excited. I am trying to get that sometime next year, maybe at the end sometime towards the end of the year because I'm focusing on buying my stage two parts right now. So 2020, we'd be getting the stage two parts and the WRC kit and that's my goal. For 47, why did you decide to go with the rally style wing and the WRC colors? Okay, so this question, I'm, I'm having a very hard time comprehending it. With the rally style wing, I mean, I guess you could say I, because I put the wing stabilizers in there, that was actually a gift for me from Ghost Wrap a very long time ago. It wasn't to mimic the WRC style wing, it was actually just because I've- It's been a part on my list for a long time that I wanted for the car. I'm very confused with this question, but I'm answering it as best I could. So with the rally wing, I do want to definitely get, but I'm debating if I want it to be in carbon fiber, which it'll probably be in carbon fiber, but the last time I checked, that thing was $1,500. So, but I'm still gonna anyways. The WRC colors, my car is originally black and blue. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen showing you what it looked like before. The blue was already on there, the black from the dealership was from a junkyard and they just tossed it on there. The WRC colors, I think you mean the livery, so the reason why I put that on there is because Solberg is inspiration to me. Number 48 has two questions and that is, when did you get your car and how long was the build? So I got my car March 16th of 2017, I'll put a picture on the screen somewhere. Yes, I do look a lot bigger because I literally just got back from boot camp. So I weighed 151 pounds in that picture, now I currently weigh 135. So. That was me two years ago when I came back from boot camp. How long was the build? Well, if we're talking about getting it running properly, it took me a year and a half. And the build part of it, I'm not even close to being finished. I just started, so I don't know when it's gonna be finished, but I will announce the date once we get a little bit closer and start upgrading a whole bunch of other things in the car. Number 49, what year of college am I in? Right now, I'm currently a sophomore. Number 50 is on a scale one to 100, how nervous were you talking to Bucky Lasek? Okay, can we just say that I was I was literally on the verge of crying. I remember shaking his hand and I was like trying to keep myself together and not cry because I was super nervous, but I was super excited and I was just like, okay, like I remember telling him I was like, sorry, I'm just really nervous right now. I, the fact that I was literally on the verge of crying, I think should say how I felt about it. Number 51 has two questions and that is, what did you think of Subi Fest? And I thought Subi Fest was literally amazing. It was the best year I've ever been to. I was supposed to go last year, but then I was getting deployed. 
and I went to the one in 2017 and that one was blistering hot. It was 103 degrees. I didn't have AC in the car. I was rolling with my windows down so it was also summer and I was sweating profusely sweating and it was just terrible it was way too hot this year 2019 was i can't even describe how good it was so it wasn't that hot it was a very comfortable weather at least for me and there was a lot more people 2017 was very small like i think what made it the most fun show i've ever been to was that i was with you guys carbon exhaust it was just so much fun you guys were very interactive you guys weren't just like oh here be a booth car and go walk around and don't really talk to me you guys were super fun you guys interacted with me you guys made me feel like i was part of family and honestly i hope that next year 2020 i can be another booth car for you guys my car will definitely look a little bit different so i'm super excited and super stoked to hopefully be your guys' booth car next year and i have my fingers crossed for it what made subi fest super fun as well and super memorable this year was that i didn't know i had fans and I know I only have so many followers and I'm working my way to the top and it's super hard and just a lot of work but I didn't think that I would have any fans out there and I ran into a good handful of people that were excited to meet me excited to talk to me and talk about the car and I ran into Queen BRZ there and honestly she is the sweetest girl on the planet like I didn't know who she was at first but she came up to me and she started talking to me and she has her own YouTube channel and her Instagram I'll put it in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and subscribe to her and follow and look at her page because she is a real female car enthusiast. Number 53, when are you going to tell us that you and Ghost are dating? Boy, let me tell you how many people have freaking asked this question. A lot. We're just friends. So. I can't tell you how many times this question has been asked. But that was the whole Q&A part two finished. That was 30 questions that we just went through. So the fact that you made it through the whole video and have watched every second of it means so much to me because I work so hard on these videos and I take a lot of time out of my day just to record it and make this a part of my timeline. So for those who keep on supporting and watch every second of my videos, shout out to you guys. It really means a lot to me, but you guys already know what the deal is. Again, thank you so much for watching and supporting this stress ball if you guys haven't already go ahead and follow rex and cj it's here on the screen and in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next one and i'll see you guys next wednesday <laughs> bye